Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the gradient tool to create a gradient fill, which is a gradual blend between multiple colors. There are a few preset gradients that ship with Photoshop, and you can also create your own gradients. You create a gradient in an image by clicking and dragging in a selection or a layer. The starting and ending points of the place over which you drag your mouse will impact the gradient appearance depending on which gradient style you select. To apply a gradient fill, first select the area to which you want to apply the gradient fill. If you don't select anything, the gradient will be applied to the entire layer currently selected in the Layers panel. We've already made our selection here using the quick selection tool of our orange flower. Next, click the Gradient Tool button in the toolbox. Now remember it shares a button with the Paint Bucket tool that we just looked at. and Give it a click. Up in the Options bar, you use the Gradient Selector drop-down to select which preset gradient you wish to use. Use this drop-down here. Now, if you don't see any that you like, you can use the Options button here. Give that a click and select one of the other choices down here. For example, simple and it'll ask you do you want to replace or append we can just quickly append or we could go down and select special effects and append those in and so forth so all different choices that we can make so we'll click one to make a choice after that in the options bar you select which style of gradient you want to create using these buttons right here we have a linear gradient which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a straight line. We have a radial gradient which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a circular pattern. Angle gradient which shades in a counterclockwise sweep around the starting point. Reflected gradient which shades symmetric linear gradients on either side of the starting point. And we also have diamond gradient which shades from the starting point to the ending point in a diamond shape. So for this example I think we'll select reflected gradient. After selecting the gradient style you use your mode drop down here to select which blending mode you want to use for the gradient fill. And I think we'll choose vivid light. You can of course also use the opacity text box or slider to select the transparency of the entire gradient, we'll leave that at 51%. If you check the reverse checkbox located right here, the order of the colors in the gradient will be reversed. Now to create a smoother gradient with less obvious banding between the colors, check the dither checkbox located right here. To use a transparency mask for the gradient fill, click the transparency checkbox located right there. We'll leave that selected. Then to apply your gradient just click and drag from the starting point to the ending point of the gradient. So you click and drag to select and apply your gradient. Now if you want to restrict the line drawn to 45 degree angles you can hold down the shift key as you drag out the starting and ending points. So we'll go ahead and remove our selection marquee and we'll see what that's done to our selection now that we've applied our new gradient. Pretty neat effect. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.